Hi guys, I've got an inbox review for you today. Quite excited about this one. This is Hong Kong Models brand new 48 scale Avro Lancaster B Mark 1. So it just, just turned up the other day, so I thought you guys might want to have a look through it with me. So if you look on the outside of the box, a bit more information we're seeing that the parts is 362, wingspan 648 mil, your overall length is 443. On the bottom side of the box we get some nice computer images of the overall model. Bit more information there, health and safety warnings, etc. Kit number for this one is 01F005. On the top of the box, you get the options here for the marking. So you get two options 106 Squadron, December 1942, and 467 Squadron from Waddington in May 1944. Nice box art on the front of this. We'll have a look on the inside. So we're greeted with. The instructions, looks like full colour instructions, which is nice to see. And again, clear parts, individually bagged, with a bit of cardboard for protection. Looks like we get a fairly uh, rammed box of plastic. So we'll have a look through that in a minute. We'll just have a, a quick look through the instructions first of all. I'll just bring you in a wee bit closer. Okay, so first of all, we've got the usual, we've got a little bit of History about the Avro Lancaster, so if anybody wants to, to read that, you can obviously pause that and have a look. And we can see here we've got the legends, health and safety, and it looks like our colours are done by AK Interactive. So, getting into it, as usual, cockpit going together, so you've got the pilot seat coming there, photo etch for the seat belts, which is nice to see, you've got the radio equipment coming in here, and uh, dashboard coming in, control column, etc. This is then down into the fuselage floor pan. And again, coming across here, so we're moving on. Got a few more parts coming in, bulkheads going in. Looks like we get some nice detail in the back of these bulkheads. And uh, moving on. A few more parts coming in there. Obviously just building up the bottom side. Over the page. Okay, so we've got the fuselage halves. Looks like we get interior ribbing detail, which is nice to see. Clear parts coming in as well at this point. A few more bits being fitted on the other side. Two fuselage halves coming together. Okay, so we're into our gun turrets here. So we've got our Browning 303 machine guns being put together. Again, it looks like we're getting photo etched details for the crew uh, for their seats and seat belts. That's obviously your front turret, top turret there, and your iconic quad grund rear turret on the back of the Lancaster. Clear parts, so we're looking like we're getting two options here, so you're getting the standard smooth side of the glass and obviously the bulge version as well. A few more details coming in. Looks like we get the... Uh, doesn't look like we get any options for posability in the any of the uh, in the rudders or the uh, elevators, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, so we're now we're into the bomb base, so we're building up the bombs here. So. Again, I'm not an expert on the Lancaster, so if anybody knows if these are the 250 or the, I think they're 500 pound bombs. Um, the other thing to note as well, this is nice to see, these are three abreast, which is correct in this scale. The 132nd version actually has four of these bombs abreast, which is incorrect. Uh, they only ever carried them three across. You've got your 4,000 pound, what they know as the cookie, uh, being put in down there as well. So moving on, so we've got the tail wheel coming together. Two halves being plugged in. Uh, they're giving you the option for the radar bulge at the bottom of the fuselage as well, which is nice to see. Over the page, you've got the bomb bay doors being fitted, so you can have them obviously in the closed position or in the open with the appropriate actuators and bulkheads being fitted as well. Over the page, so starting to come together now. We've obviously got the fuselage halves, clear parts coming in on the front, turrets being fitted, canopy being fitted at the same time. Tailplane's being fitted on in the next stage, a few lumps and bumps, aerials and what have you. Okay, and now we're into the engines. So we've got four of these to make up. These are your Rolls-Royce Merlins. Look like they're nicely detailed, certainly from the CAD images. Yeah, the props coming together. Two halves of the wheels coming. Looks like we get nice weight on wheels, which is a good option. Okay, and then we've obviously got the engines being fitted down into the nacelles. Uh, intakes, exhaust shrouds being fitted as well. And this is obviously your outboard, inboard, so you've got your wheel wells in here as well. Onto the wings coming together. 
So two halves coming together here. Doesn't look like we get options for the uh, posability of the uh, ailerons, but so that's a bit of a shame. So we've got nacelles being obviously in position on the bottom of the wings. Okay, and then we've obviously got the undercarriage coming in, props coming in as well. So you've got options here for gear up or gear down, or gear down, gear up. Flaps, we do get posability on the flaps, which is nice to see. So you can have them obviously in the deployed or the stowed position over the page. So this looks like we're just, yeah, this is just a repeat on the other side of what we've already done. Just showing you again, obviously props, undercarriage coming down, flaps being fitted there. And then we're starting to come together. So the wings going in here, We've got a few parts to fit on the leading edge. Looks like we get the same system. So these wings will be able to be uh, slid in and locked into place, which will aid painting or if you're needing to transport it around should make it a lot easier and then there we go there she is in all her beauty over the page so this is obviously your sprue layouts parts that are included okay and same again I think on the other page yep so the continuation more parts there clear parts photo etch and then this is showing you this is your decals so I think this is showing you, the pink is showing you the carrier film. So it looks like minimal carrier film. And good to see they're printed by cartograph, so it shouldn't be a problem at all. And um, we do get an option. We have uh, decals for the dials, which was missing on the 132nd version. Okay, so we're into our colour callouts. So this is your A marking. This is 106 Squadron, 1942. So you're obviously getting a, both sides top and bottom and your colour callouts AK Interactive Mr Hobby or Tamiya which is nice to see over the page okay so we're this is 467 Squadron from Waddington 1944 so same thing again both sides top and bottom and you're seeing your colour callouts and then over the page, we've got the stentil data. So, top of the fuselage and the wings. Other side, and the underside as well. And then on the back, we've got your colour callouts. As I say, Ake Interactive, Tamiya, Guns Mr. Hobby. Or you can obviously use these for reference in your own paints, depending on which ones you choose to use. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. So what we'll do is I'll get the uh, parts out of the bags so we're not rustling around and we can have a look through the box. So I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> 